Hello, I'm Debbie Bell Hosking in the Deutsche Bank Lounge at Cybos in Geneva, and it's Lisa Robbins who joins me now, and we're talking transaction banking in Asia. So, Lisa, what is the state of transaction banking in the region? Well, transaction banking in the region is a very broad topic. We have a number of things going on. Let's just look at three of them. First is the, the slowdown in China. The big emerging giant is suddenly slowing down a bit. But that, and that has tempered the degree of, of growth in other areas. Nonetheless, we're seeing something, some amazing things happening in China and elsewhere. First, we see increasing access to markets. Just look at, again at China with the growth of the stock market, the second largest in the world. The bond market is the third largest traded. That has implications for all of our transaction banking businesses, not to mention the fact that the RMB now is the second largest used trade currency. Elsewhere in Asia, we're seeing other things. India, too, has the largest FDI in, um, of any country in the world, uh, surpassing the U.S. And that also uh, means that the policies that the Modi government has instituted to drive growth are, are, are starting to work. And what does that mean for us in transaction banking? It means more opportunity. Moving farther south to uh, ASEAN, the ASEAN region, we're seeing more of a holistic um, standardization and integration of the ASEAN region, which also with it brings opportunities for investors as well as people um, who are manu manufacturers. And how big a threat would you say the emergence of new entrants is? Well, one can look at the emergence of new risk as a, as a um, risk or an opportunity. And I think one of the ways that we're starting to look at, at our, our ecosystem, the word that's used quite frequently here at Cybos this week, is, um, is slightly differently. We can look at them as, as, as competitors, but if you look at fintech as a matter of interest, we're looking at creating communities where we can bring fintech along on our journey and we're on their journey. What does that mean in real terms? Think about transaction banking as a service, where we start to look at what we're providing to our customers on a plug and play basis and working with fintechs to provide features and functions and solutions that we may um, not have. So it's looking at things holistically. On the other hand, we see the rise of um, Asian regional banks who are looking very strong and looking at their own backyards to uh, develop their profiles in the region. And again here, we don't look at them as competition, we look at them as people with whom we can cooperate. You talk about the banks in the region. How would you say they are responding to the challenges? Well, I think there are a number of challenges that we're all responding to, whether regional banks or global banks. Obviously, the increased regulatory oversight brings with it additional cost, whether we're looking at AML and KYC or other uh, regulatory uh, guidelines which require us to invest differently in our systems and make sure that we're doing the best to uh, prevent uh, fraud, prevent cybersecurity, and a whole host of other things. Not to mention, service our clients and their needs better. Lisa, thank you. It's great to hear your update on transaction banking in Asia. Thank you for joining us. My pleasure. And thank you for watching.